Taiwan Semiconductor, TSM stock is the ticker symbol. The nickname, of course, TSMC, uh, which I'll be using throughout the video, a slightly overpriced. Just came out with their financials, what was the last Thursday? And TSM stock, of course, moved a bit lower. But they outperformed revenue and earnings, and they even guided for future earnings, which I had to push up from my previous video that I looked at uh, a couple months ago with TSMC. So what's going on with TSMC? What will happen with TSM stock? Right now, we're sort of in this period where the Federal Reserve is likely to push interest rates higher. Given that, consumers are going to get hit with uh, consumption and that will bring stocks much lower. All these stocks, NVIDIA, Taiwan Semiconductor, across the board, Rambus, all of them, they're going to go lower. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Taiwan Semiconductor's capability of performing within any one economy, as much as it does that some of these stocks are simply overvalued. NVIDIA is way overpriced, given future earnings and revenue. Because of that, as a value investor picking up TSM stock, there's going to be an opportunity for long-term individuals looking to buy into TSM stock on a value investing basis. Let's jump in. I'll show you the charts I'm looking at. We'll break out uh, TSMC. Here's a good look at the one hour chart for TSM stock. Uh, after hours, of course, on, what was it the 18th, we got the information popped up and then has sold off ever since. Uh, it was about 139, moved up to about 145, falling all the way down to 126, which is pretty steep. Um, it's bounced back up, but just today, TSM stock has moved lower. And it all boils down to future economic data we're getting Thursday and Friday here in the United States. Inflation is still running hot. Interest rates are still trending higher. Because of that, all of these stocks where investors have chased yield, pushed yields to really low levels, all of a sudden, your better bet is the 10-year Treasury yield as an investment versus, say, TSM stock. It's not to say that TSM stock is performing poorly, as much as it is to say other stocks, AI stocks that have been bought up, or have overperformed what they can actually do, and we're going to see the stock market selling. This will pull TSM stock lower. I like TSM stock. I think it's an excellent value investment, and given AI, what it could do for uh, the sector, it's a great, solid improvement for TSM, broadly speaking. But that's a smaller portion of the entire company for TSM. They're huge, the biggest in the world. Let's break out a little more. This is a, a weekly chart. We, of course, had the big drop. If you look at the very uh, end of 2021 all the way through to 2022, at the tail end of 2022, and the tail end of 2021, of course, the stock market peaked. There was a major sell-off all through two 2022 from the bottom of 2022 all the way up more than doubling TSM stock did but we're likely to see at the very least what I, I kind of back of the napkin was thinking anywhere between 110 and 120 on TSM stock it could go much lower not because of poor performance by TSMC but because of other stocks being overbought and TSM stock being pushed up beyond simply because of its sector that it's in. Moving forward, here's a look at SOXX stock. And this is an ETF for semiconductors. And I like them. I like this one because of its value uh, allocation. It doesn't go heavy into NVIDIA, although it is the biggest uh, allocation within SOXX stock. I just did a video on SOXX stock and I kind of broke down taking a look at the value uh, that you would get yield for each stock, breaking them out. Some of them are at zero. There's no given uh, future yield at current price. There's no real gains 
available for investors. A lot of those stocks are sitting at 2%. SOXX stock will come down. Because of that, more than likely TSM stock will follow suit. So what is TSM stock worth? I actually, when I broke it out, I said, you know, 110 to 120 is a fairly reasonable price. But what if there's a miss in revenue? Now, TSMC just, of course, beat revenue and earnings. Uh, and it's really getting a lot of search because of, now, on the one on the, what you need to know here from Zach's, of course, there, um, there's a lot of searching going on simply because TSM didn't perform as investors had thought that would. And because of that, they're starting to search. And that's where that Zach's uh, article kind of keyed in on. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, but moving forward, here's a real quick look at quarterly revenue hitting 18.85 for Q1. I had to push 2024 projected revenues and 2025 up slightly for TSMC. Moving forward, gross margins. These guys uh, are pretty consistent and this is something you're always gonna be looking for when it comes to value investing. You wanna be able to reasonably assume looking into the future what any particular company could be doing at one time. Operating margins, fairly flat line and that's something that's as a value investor you're also looking for but it's the net margins that I really wanted to focus on. 38% significantly outperforming the broader S&P 500. And that's such a key thing. You're paying for that. But the price to earnings ratio on TSMC is only like 16 times. It's very low comparatively. Uh, earnings per share, of course, buck 38, but 607 for 2024 is the total that they're looking for. Now, we've already printed Q1 for TSMC given the next four quarters, I broke that out, which would be Q1 of 2025 as well. Uh, you're looking at 639 total earnings projection over the next four quarters. TSM price, 132.50, giving you a yield of 4.82%. All right, now you don't get 100% of that 631. But what could the management do with that? Number one, yes, dividends are in there. Number two, they could pay off debt. Number three, they could buy back shares. Number four, probably most importantly, invest in the future. So that's 631, you're investing in that and your yield is that 4.823%. But the 10 year treasury yield is creeping up 4.65%. So what kind of yield would you want to get if the treasury yield, the benchmark rate, pushes above 5%. You'd want more. There's more risk. The downside risk to the 10-year Treasury yield is so minimal. The Federal Reserve is close to getting inflation where they want. Maybe they have to bump interest rates up a quarter, maybe a half. I doubt they'd have to go beyond that. The beyond that, it's all about time. Given that, the economy is likely to kind of start petering out a little bit, that there's not much more growth rate left in employment, which would drive price pressures higher. Because of that, the Federal Reserve would be able to lower interest rates soon. So if you opted to get into the 10-year Treasury right now, and the Federal Reserve lowered interest rates, you've locked in, say, 4.75%. What if the uh, Fed drops interest rates by a half? You're sitting on profits, maybe 10 to 15%. So your downside risk, we know the Federal Reserve is gonna tackle inflation, then lower rates after it's done. Your downside risk for treasury investments is incredibly minimal, mostly time. Because of the TSM's yield at 4.82%, more than likely, we're going to see some selling in stocks. So then it becomes a matter of if we see TSM stock drop down to about 100, 110, now you're starting to see 5.25, 5.5% yield for an investor in TSM stock at those levels. That, given your risk over top of the treasury yield, 
is a much more solid value investment. So this transition we're seeing right now with the Federal Reserve pushing interest rates up like they are, probably gonna be talking interest rates up pretty heavily. This will pull stocks lower, then these stocks become value investments with very high valuations. The problem with that is simply this. If the Federal Reserve has to go a little further, they could contract the economy a little more. What if TSMC does not hit its revenue and earnings projections? All of a sudden, TSM stock, sub 100. So that's something that you kind of have to look at. and something I'm wondering, how much further will the Federal Reserve have to go? I do believe that the economy is going to sort of peter out a little bit and that the rate of growth declines and price pressures decline. But it might take time. And because of that, this could contract the economy somewhat. This could affect TSMC's revenue and earnings. So price, you might be able to pick it up sub 100. Taiwan Semiconductor, the company will perform very well in an economy that is expanding. We're about to see an economy that's contracting. And we're about to see stocks like NVIDIA fall pretty hard. Simply, it's overvalued. TSMC stock, actually, TSM stock is actually uh, pretty well priced. But guilt by association, if NVIDIA sells off sharply, TSM stock moves lower itself. As a value investor, you're able to pick up TSM stock, uh, buy on the dip and hold for a value investment for a long time, long term period of time. And that's how I look at Taiwan Semiconductor. Make sure to, if you're just finding my channel for the first time, make sure to hit the like and follow button. I'm going to break down all of the semiconductor stocks in SOXX stock simply because AI stocks are such an important thing right now. Uh, I like Taiwan Semiconductor a lot. It's seen some great capital appreciation, uh, price appreciation from just back in October, and we'll likely continue to see that over time. But in the meantime, probably gonna see a big dip, having nothing really to do with Taiwan Semiconductor's capabilities as much as the landscape it's operating in. Make sure to hit the like and follow button. I did do a write-up on TSMC. It's on my Substack. Link is down below in the descri description. We'll see you in the next video.